Certified SOLIDWORKS Associate Sample Exam Question Number 4 For Question Number 4 you have to use the part which you have already created in Question Number 3 and to change the values of A, B and C. Here you will see also as a note that you should assume that all other dimensions are the same as in the previous question. I will say it again as a hint make a b and c as global variables so it's easy to change them always the others are staying the same so we have to change a b and c now when we have the global variables you we will see these values here under equations go to manage equations and place the new values that we have a is becoming 84, B is becoming 59, and you see that my model is already changing for the new values, and C is becoming 45. Once you're ready, you hit OK, just in case, rebuild the model. And now what you have to do is to measure the mass of this part. We are going again to mass properties and the mass of our model is 1032.32 grams. Here you will have to type it. Be careful. Read what is the separator that you have to use. Is it point or is it a comma? and choose the separator that is written that you have to use. Usually it's comma, but please read carefully before entering your answer, because if you write point instead of comma, you will have a wrong answer, no matter that you have the correct one. We're going to the sample exam and we will go to the answers area to see if our answer is correct. thousand thirty two point thirty two grams exactly our value here i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you next time bye